Remember when we were talking about the coming of the universe, the coming of plants and animals, and the special story of the coming of humans. Today, we are going to look at how long all of this took. We are going to use this special clock. This material tells us how long it took. It tells us about time. It's as if all the very long time of history that has passed took 12 hours. Do you see this black part? The part between 12 and 152. We call this Hadean era. This name came from Hades, Greek for underworld, referring to the conditions on Earth at the time. During Hadean time, the solar system was forming out of a spinning cloud of dust and gases. The sun began to emit light and heat, and Earth takes shape. There was no ozone layer to protect the Earth from solar radiation, and Earth was very, very hot. As it cools, its mass increases. This great part is called the Archean Era. This name means ancient, the time of a very, very, very old life. During this time, the Earth changed from a mass of flaming gases into a planet with a thin crust. This color represents a long period without life. One cell of life began. The Archean period was a time of continent building and the first stages of early life. The atmosphere would have had no oxygen. Instead, it would have been filled with hydrogen, methane, and ammonia. So the earliest life forms did not use oxygen to exist. Now let's count the yellow part between 5.20 and 10.32. That's 5 hours and 12 minutes. We call this time the Proterozoic Era. This name means early life. This color symbolizes a light coming out of a darkness. We don't know when exactly, but sometime in here, the little the blob of jelly appeared, the one-celled creature. The sea produced many tiny forms of multicellular life. Blue-green algae and early forms of multicellular life were plentiful at the end of this era. The next part of the clock from 1032 till 1119 is the Paleozoic era. The color stands for the life in the seas. This is the time when the animals experimented with life in the water, going all the way up to the time when the fish appeared. Very few of those animals are still here today, or they have changed to look very different. Plants and animals learned to coexist for the first time in the great oceans that cover the earth. From 1119 to 1148 is the part we call the Mesozoic Era. Meso means middle, so this is the time of the middle life between the Paleozoic and the Cenozoic Eras. Land was rising above the water. Plants and animals adapted to life on land. The color represents the land on the earth. By now, the amphibians had appeared and this is also the time of the huge dinosaurs. This was the age of giant reptiles and huge land plants. We are quite a long way past 11 o'clock. The next kind of animals to appear were the mammals. They came during the Cenozoic era, which means the time of recent life. It is called this because it is so close to the time when humans appeared. The color stands for plant life because the flowering plants developed. We come to this tiny little red strip here. 
It is called a quaternary period. Its name means fourth. This is the time of a new period of life, the time of the humans, the men, the women, and the children just like us. Just look at it. It is so tiny. It is not even a minute on our clock. All this time of preparation before the humans appeared just less than a minute ago. They barely arrived before midnight. Now, they could come because everything was prepared, everything was ready for them. This is a story of the Klagovo era.